Got a how-to video today. It's been a while since I did anything with the tractors, so this is a Craftsman LT1000. Um, I think in our past videos we referred to this thing as the Kohler Craftsman or something like that. It's uh, about as loaded as these LT1000s got. It's a hydro, it's a broken spring, and it's got the electric PTO option, which is very rare on these things. You don't see it too much. Um, and it's got a Kohler engine instead of a Briggs. And you can easily tell that by the steering wheel shape. Craftsman tractors that come with Kohlers have this style instead of the more like slope design uh, textured wheel. And the dash might be specific to this model. I'm not really sure. I've never actually seen a tractor with this dash before. Anyways, it's a 15.5 Kohler command, and the problem with this one is, it'll run great, then randomly, for no reason, just shut off like you turn the key off. And, after much screwing with it, come to the conclusion it's something with this solenoid on the carburetor here. Which, it could be something in the wiring here, I've checked everything, it doesn't look that way. So I always get 12 volts here, but for no reason this will just stop clicking. I've taken this apart, I've cleaned it, it's still screwed up, so what I'm going to do is, because I don't have a spare, I checked through all my engines, I don't have one like this, or one that works anyways. I'm just going to delete the thing. And you can see right now when I turn the key on, it is working, but you know, I'm getting this thing ready to sell, and I don't want to come back with this. Now, what this solenoid does is prevents the backfire after you shut it off, which if you usually if you put it in low and shut it off, you avoid that. Old tractors didn't have this. It's more of a convenience thing. I don't really see it necessary. So I'm just going to delete this. To do that, now... This carburetor on this thing is a Walbro. Uh, these colors, they were at least two different types. There's a, I think it's pronounced Neki or Niki or something. So a Japanese brand. It looks a lot different. This has a cast ball with two screws holding it on. Um, this won't work on those. This is for the Walbro one. And interesting about this is the small ball one unlike what Briggs and Stratton uses. So what you're going to need to do this is a Walbro carburetor off of a Briggs push mower. Like a five horse or something. One of the Quantums. Anything with this style. And you got to make sure it has the recessed cup. And that will be important in a second. So, just disconnect that. They have these real narrow pliers for getting on here this stuff's already loose break it loose and you want to save this gasket here there's the old one I left the rubber thing in the garage. But this thing also it leaks gas. And you pull the ball off. So it looks like a small push mower ball. Then I'll take the parts carburetor. Break this loose. This one's missing its gasket already, so I see you have to save it. And this is what you want here, this nut. It's got holes in it, so if they're dirty, you want to clean them. And you want the ball. The reason why you want the ball... Is these two are very different. 
the height's different. But the main issue is the bottom. This is the one off the Kohler. It's a flat bottom. And this one's cupped off the Briggs. If you try to use the nut on this one, it won't bottom out. You have to use this one. So. Put the cupped one on. Take the gasket. And the nut. tight and as far as this wire goes you either tape it off somewhere or what I'm gonna end up doing you tape it off or cut it but I like it to be clean so pop this clip a second kind of tight What I'm going to do is you're going to use a pick and I forget where it is, but you stick it in the slot and there's a little tab that you'll bend down and this wire will just pull right out. I'll do that later. But now, get this crap off of here. This stuff, I was trying to find another solenoid that might work and these are all too small of a thread. Now, they should start and run good. It's a mowing uh, the dirt here the other day. So that's all this one is, a dirt field. Shook it. Shut it off. You want to avoid that backfire. Put it as low as it'll go and shut it off. It may still do it. He especially doesn't want to pop, but yeah, I guess sort of a nuisance part. Now, the reason why I did this instead of buying a new one, that sold only $65 on eBay. So from a dealer, it's probably more. And I'm not putting that in. There's that, hope to help someone out. 